Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today I'm going to learn about Land Rover's Lane Keep Assist and Blind Spot Assist. First of all, let's take a look at the instrument panel menu settings. In the information panel at the bottom of the display, we will set it as the driver assistance. You can now see the driver assistance system in the information panel in the middle of the instrument panel. The following is the lane departure warning button on the right side of the steering wheel. When you press the button, it is activated in orange, and a white warning light comes on at the bottom left of the instrument panel. Next is blind spot assist. The blind spot assist is located in the collision avoidance at the bottom of the driver assistance in the instrument panel menu. You can turn off blind spot assist, choose steering assist, or choose alert only. When steering assist is selected, the steering wheel actively moves when a vehicle collision is expected to prevent collision. The following is a lane keep assist. Under steering assistance, select lane keep assist in the settings or below. You can choose between steering vibration and steering assist and selecting steering assist actively moves the steering to prevent lane departure. When you activate the lane keep assist function, you will see a white lane departure warning light in the lower left of the instrument panel. Now, let's finish setting up the instrument panel menu and test drive. The lane departure warning light at the bottom left of the instrument panel is activated green when the vehicle's speed is about 70 km or more. It is activated in white in the driver assistance of the information panel. However, if the vehicle's speed slows down to about 65 km or less, both are grayed out. When you reach a speed of about 70 km or more, the lane departure warning light is activated in green, and the driver assistance in the information panel is activated in white. However, if the vehicle's sensor does not detect the lane on the road even when the function is activated, it will all be grayed out again. Again, when the sensor detects a lane, the instrument panel notifies you, but it may or may not detect either the left or right side of the lane. So let's take off the steering wheel and see what happens. In this way, when the vehicle attempts to leave the lane, the steering wheel actively moves and puts the vehicle in the middle of the lane. This is possible because the Lane Keep Assist feature has been activated, and the lanes in the instrument panel are colored red. If you do not hold the steering wheel for a long time, you will hear a warning sound and an indication on the instrument panel, and if you hold the steering wheel again, all will disappear. You may remember that you selected Steering Assist in the Lane Keeping Assist setting earlier. If Steering Vibration is selected, the steering wheel vibrates when the vehicle attempts to leave the lane. If you do not hold the steering wheel for a long time, you will hear a warning sound and the instrument panel will tell you to hold the steering wheel. The lane keep assist function continues to be active during the warning, preventing the vehicle from leaving the lane. However, after a while, the lane departure warning light will be grayed out and the lane keep assist feature will also be disabled. This time, I will use it with adaptive cruise control. The adaptive cruise control does not need to step on the Excel and brake pedals because it automatically moves on and off according to the distance setting from the vehicle ahead while driving at a set speed. If you also activate the lane keep assist in the adaptive cruise control, you don't have to move the steering wheel. You've probably heard of semi-autonomous driving. In this way, you can also take a semi-autonomous ride with a Land Rover vehicle. However, Land Rover's Lane Keep Assist is not intended to be used without holding the steering wheel. Please note that it is intended to prevent unintentional lane departure while driving while holding the steering wheel. This is Blind Spot Assist. You may remember that you selected Steering Assist in the Blind Spot Assist setting in the Instrument Panel menu. The Lane Keeping Assist and Blind Spot Assist seem similar, but a little different. It is identified by an orange blind spot icon above the red lane in the instrument panel.
I'll try again. Currently, the left lane of the instrument panel is displayed in red, and the steering wheel is actively moving to put the vehicle in the middle of the lane. If you see only the red lane, it is a lane keep assist. However, in blind spot assist, the vehicle behaves the same, with an orange blind spot icon. It looks like this when you look a little closer. Blind spot assist is a steering wheel that actively prevents lane changes if a driver attempts to change lanes while a vehicle is being detected in the blind spot. When the blind spot assist is activated, a warning light flashes on the side mirror as well as a notification on the instrument panel. Blind spot assist is separate from blind spot monitoring. When you press the lane departure warning button on the right side of the steering wheel, it is deactivated and the warning light on the lower left of the instrument panel disappears. Blind spot monitoring only shows a warning light in the side mirror when a vehicle is detected in the blind spot. If you have selected alert only without steering assist selected in the instrument panel menu blind spot settings the steering wheel will not move and only the warning light will be displayed. No warning lights are displayed if blind spot is turned off. If you detect a vehicle in the blind spot and turn on the turn signal with a warning light on the side mirror, the warning light flashes quickly and tells you not to change lanes. Blind spot monitoring is activated when the speed of your vehicle is about 10 km or more and alerts you when a vehicle is detected in the blind spot. However, if the vehicles in the blind spot do not move at a speed of about 10 km or more, the warning light is not displayed even when the vehicles in the blind spot are being detected. A warning light is activated when all vehicles are moving at a speed of about 10 km or more. When my vehicle's speed reaches about 10 km or less blind spot monitoring is disabled and an orange dot appears in the side mirror. Blind spot monitoring is disabled when an orange dot is displayed on the side mirror. When the vehicle moves again at a speed of about 10 km or more, the orange dot disappears and blind spot monitoring is activated. So far, we've learned about lane keep assist and blind spot assist. Both features have been shown to provide stable and accurate operation when the vehicle is at a rather high speed and in all road conditions with dashed lines and solid lines. You should use these functions properly to prevent accidents that come without notice. In the next video, we will learn how to use and set up various Land Rover headlamps. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.